Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, salatu salam ar Rasulullah. This is Fahad al-Shihri, and today we have Traveler 2, Module 4. Our lesson is not my cup of tea, it's about grammar and speaking for today. Page 49. Our objective for today, or our goal for today, reporting a direct speech statement, just the statement. What is the meaning of uh, reporting? It's like when you uh, talk with someone, like uh, you call someone, and then you want to transfer what he said to another, another person. We will get in details about reporting a direct speech. First, you have to know, this is a very important grammar because you will use it every day. You will use it daily in your life. <clears throat> First, let's take the meaning of statement. What is the meaning of statement? A statement is defined as having a structure in which there is typically subject followed by a verb and then a further unit, such as a direct object. For example, Nasser loves Cat. Nasser is a subject, a verb here is loves, and then the further or uh, direct object is cat. Statement always like end with period or follow stop. So you, if you want to make um, like a difference between uh, so statement and others, you can know you, you could know that statement sentences never ask a question, it couldn't come as a question, uh, it couldn't come as giving a command, like do this or that, or make a request when you ask for, for something. We'll take examples about all of this. So for example, you are my, my friend. This is a statement. This is a statement because it started, as we said before, with a subject, you, and then a verb, are, and then the direct object, which, which is my, my friend. Are you my friend? This is a question. This is not a statement. This is just a regular question. Be my friend, like when you ask someone, like to command him or order, like be, be my friend. This is a command. This is as a request. Can I use your computer, please? This is a request. So our lesson today about reporting direct uh, speech is just about the statements, this type or this kind of sentence. The main uh, reason behind using reporting speech, like when we want to tell someone what someone else said. So you, you talk to someone and then you want to transfer this or the message or the thing or the situation to another, another person. There are two ways. There are two ways of doing that. For example, we have Ali here, and he said that I am feeling sick. He is sick. And he, he told you that. How you transfer this message? How you tell other, another one about what Ali said? You can use two, two ways. The first one, you can repeat that person's words. You just repeat it. You don't change anything. This is what we call it direct speech. Direct speech. For example, Ali said, because we are talking about Ali, I am feeling sick. I am feeling sick. Look, we quote what he said. This, we call it quotation, and we quote what he, what he said. We didn't change anything. We just tell the, the listener that Ali said this, this statement. So direct speech is the reporting of speech by repeating the actual words. The actual words, it's like the same, the same word of the speaker. We don't change anything. The second way which is uh, important for us, and this is uh, our grammar about, when you can use reported speech. 
when you can use reported speech to transfer or convey the, the message or the thing. For example here, Ali said that he was feeling sick. We don't have to use the, the quotation. Why? Because we will have the same meaning, but we change some, some words. Ali told me, so we can use said or, or told. Said or told. Told because it's in the past. And said it's in the past of say. That, it's not really important. So you can use that or you can just omit it. Ali said he was feeling sick. So it's the same, the same meaning, but we change some, some words. Ali told me that he was feeling sick. We had before the, the difference between said and told, how you use it. Like said, you don't have to, uh, to have uh, object. Told, you have to have object, like me. Me here is the, the object. Let's talk about reported speech in more details. For example, this, we have this, this example. Tom, he is feeling ill. He is feeling ill or sick. The meaning of ill is sick. So maybe someone heard him, like she heard him, that he is saying that he is feeling sick. And she wants to, to tell, like maybe, let's say, John, what uh, Tom said. So where is, where is Tom? Or uh, the opposite, like he heard him and he wants to, to tell his maybe mom about what Tom said. Where is Tom? She's asking about, about Tom. He said he was feeling ill. He said he was feeling ill. So he, he just used the reported speech, changed some words to make it the, the, same, the same meaning. It's the grammar we use if we want to tell another person about a conversation. So we just like transfer the, the conversation. That took place in the past. So the tense of this conversation, it was in the past because he asking him about, uh, about the past, like maybe, maybe before five minutes, maybe before one minute, maybe, maybe before like one hour, and etc. For example, telephone call, news or story that someone told us about, and etc. Change, what we have to change when we want to uh, change the, the direct speech to reported speech. First, we have to change the pronouns. Why? Because when someone say like, I am, or uh, I want, or anything like that, you are talking about him or her, so you can't say that uh, I. You have to choose he or, or she, based on the speaker. Tenses. If it's in the uh, present, you have to change it to the past, and we will get to the tenses later. Time and place expressions. So for example here, here the, the direct speech, here is the, the direct speech or the statement, the sentence. I am going to the, to the beach tomorrow. I am going to the beach tomorrow. And here we change it to reported speech. So. We don't know about the speaker if uh, he a uh, male or female, so we used she or he. You can use one one of them. Said because it's in the in the past. That you can use that or you can just omit it. She was going, so we just chose it. she. If we consider it as a female, a girl, was going. Why? Because it was here in present perfect, and here or uh, progressive, and here we have to use the past progressive. She was going to the beach. So we changed the pronoun from I to she. Then we changed the, the tense from present progressive to past progressive. And the last thing, we, we changed the, the time from tomorrow to the next day. And we will get to all of this. And the reported speech, we use the past, the past tense, because it took place in the, in the past. So if it's am or as, becomes was, are, becomes where, 
has or have, both of them, they become had. See, because it's a regular verb, so we, we say so, for example, can or can't, it could be could or couldn't, it becomes, will or will not, it comes would or would not. Say until, <clears throat> we already had this say until, but we will talk about it again. We normally use the verbs say until, the difference between them. So we can use both of them in reported speech. The difference between them is that say can be used without object, as I told you before. So you can just use it like say and then the, the object, or without the, the object. Or you can use the object. But you have to use two before it. Till is always used with the object. Because when you say like something like tell me, tell him, and etc. So this him or me is the object. We introduce reported speech with said that. Or told plus the direct object. That can be omitted. So we, we can use said that and we can say just said without that. Told is the same, we can say told me, for example, that, or we can just say told, um, told me, without, without that. For example, here, <coughs> he said that she knew it. She, he said that she knew it. So here, if we don't use the, the object, it's correct. For the second one, when we use told, we have to use the object. We have to use the object. Here, me is the object. He told me that she knew it. That she knew it. This is just the difference between both of them. Pronouns. How to change the pronouns from the direct speech to reported speech? If we use I, it comes or becomes he or she, me, him or her, mine, his or her, and progressive, uh, possessive uh, uh, pronouns, his or her, myself, it be, uh, becomes himself or herself, and etc. You can see it in the table. So for example, we have this statement, this sentence. We have a lot of work today, Uncle Bob said to Victor. Here, we use the, the direct speech because you can see the quotation. So, Uncle Bob said the same sentence. We didn't change anything. And now we want to use the reported speech. Look at we. We changed we to today, as the table said. He told Victor, so we used told, and Victor is the object, that they had a lot of work to do that day. So you can see here one example of the pronouns. And we change it from we to today. We is the direct object, uh, speech, and they is the reported speech. Time and place. If we have in the direct speech, this, like time or place, like now, it becomes then in the reported speech. Today, that day. Tonight, that night. Yesterday, the previous day, or the day before. So for these tables, you have to memorize them. You have to memorize them. There is no way to understand these things. You have to memorize, to, to put it in your, in your mind. For example, here <coughs> we used yester yesterday. Dad said, I visited the doctor yesterday. So we used yesterday here. And to, to see how it changed, Dad said he had visited the doctor the previous day. So yesterday it becomes the previous day. In tenses, we have present symbol and it becomes past symbol as the example. Past symbol, we, we change it to past perfect and reported speech. 
present progressive, we change it to the past progressive. Present perfect, as you can see, these examples, it changed to the past perfect. So, for example, here, this is a present progressive. I am going to the doctor. And the second one, when we change it to the past progressive, she said that she was going to, to the doctor. For the modal verbs, we have will, can, may, and must. And you can see here how it becomes, or how they become an unreported speech. Well, it becomes would, can, could, may, might, must, had, to. And these are examples. For the pronouns, <clears throat> we always change the pronouns. If the speaker talk about, uh, talks about himself, you have to, to change it, and etc. So pronouns like I, she, we, and possessive adjectives. Something related, like my, uh, for example, like my, my pen. This is what we call it possessive adjectives. For example here, I understand your ideas, but I don't agree with them. So when we change it, like maybe the mother said this statement, my mother told me that she understood. So we have to change your to me or she and my and etc. Ted's mother told him also. Look at this example. Mrs. Brown here, she said my favorite film is on TV tonight. I love comedies. So just like a statement, just a sentence. Mrs. Brown, here it's the reported speech. When we want to tell someone else about what Mrs. Brown said. Mrs. Brown said that her favorite film was on TV that night. She said that she loved, loved comedies. What has changed in the previous example? The pronoun from my to her, I. To she, this is for the previous example. This one, this example. The tense from am to was, love to loved, time word from tonight to that night. This what we changed in the previous, the previous, the one before example. Now Go to page number 40, 49. Here we have to fill these spaces. So if we want to, uh, to say, say or tell, we can use, and before it's indirect, Object. The one we has, we have to use uh, the object is tell, because say or said, we don't have to use object. We can, but we don't have to. Here, when we change the tenses, like from present to past, from present perfect to past perfect, should it will be the same. The past perfect and the verbs could, might, should, would, and used to, don't uh, use to, don't change in the reported speech. So if you have this and the direct speech, you just put them as is in the reported speech. The past progressive usually doesn't change in the reported speech. If we have something like was going, this was the, the direct speech, we just, if we want to make it uh, or change it from direct speech to reported speech, we just use the same, the same tense. Now we'll go to this example. 
as you can see, these are statements for Brian, Liam, Ryan, and Fred. For example, Brian, the hotel looks really amazing. I like it. Brian said, so here, uh, the book put said, so we, ha we have to use said. That, and you can see that, that we can use it and we can omit it if we don't want to, to use it. The hotel looked because we changed the, the tense from present to, to past. Really amazing and that, that here you can use it or omit it. He liked it, he liked it. We use the past tense from like. And the other examples are the same, are the same. We changed, we changed the, the tenses, if it's present to past and etc. We have, we have to, to change it to make it in the reported speech. The last part in our lesson today, it's about speaking. So, uh, you have to interview your friend or classmate and ask him these questions. When did you go on holiday? And then you get the, the answer and then you tell another or the class what he or she said. So, I will show you just one example for this. As you can see here, when you ask your friend, he ask he asking him, when when did you go on holiday? And then this is maybe his answer. I went on holiday in December. Did you do anything special on your holiday? I visited the walk in Dubai. And then this student he got all the answers and now he wants to tell the, the class about his classmate. So maybe his classmate, his name is Rami. So Rami said that he had gone on holiday in December. Look how we changed this one, this statement to reported speech. I visited the walk in Dubai. So Rami told me, because he's telling the, the class, that he had visited the walk in Dubai. So you can see the, the difference here. This is our lesson for today. Thank you for watching me. Um, I hope you get all the information and keep it up. Thank you.